everybody. It is Friday, April 21st. Welcome to Morning Hair. I am your host, Man Called Hardgrove. Uh, today is Friday, April 21st. Friday. Yay, Friday. I'm getting new tires tomorrow. Yay, Mr. Excitement. Um, it, it is uh, April 21st, and a couple of things slipped by this week that I didn't get to mention because I just sort of get overwhelmed by other stuff. First of all, uh, a big shout out to the American School for the Deaf in West Hartford, Connecticut. They turned 200 this week on April 15th, 1817. ASD opened its doors. They were the birthplace of deaf education in America. So congratulations to all those guys. I'd sign that to you if I knew how, but I don't know how. Uh, also, we did do uh, the uh, April 19th Battle of Concord. I did not mention Paul Revere's ride because I'm not a fan of Longfellow. You know, gather my children and you shall hear the midnight ride of Paul Revere. I had to read that in high school. Uh, we're still uh, rather distraught. We had the funeral for our bearded dragon, Sparky, yesterday. And at the oration, I pointed out that Sparky, his greatest accomplishments were when he defeated the large brown spider in the bathtub in 2013. And when he defeated the large brown spider in the bathtub in 2014. And when he twice defeated big brown spiders in the bathtub in 2015 and in 2016 last year. So Sparky was 5-0 and against the big brown spiders in the bathtub. He got them all. And we'll miss him. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I guess sell this house. I don't know. Um, hey, today, uh, interesting uh, bit of information today, uh, because it's not really literary, but it's more about a place, geography. There's actually a city, a big city, in the heart of the Amazon in Brazil. And the city's called Manaus. I'm probably saying that wrong. M-A-N-A-U-S. Manaus. It was built by, uh, built and sustained by people who own large rubber plantations in these rubber plantation barons insisted that their city be modern. So they made a huge opera house there. It uh, cost $10 million to build, and they fixed it up with the finest marble and glass they could. But uh, it, it got really interesting because one visiting opera troupe, <laughs> half their members died of yellow fever while they were playing at Manaus. So if you're uh, planning a, a trip to the opera house in Manaus, Brazil, get those shots, buddy. Get those shots. Okay, uh, that's about it for today. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a fun weekend. I'll see you tomorrow morning before I get my new tires. Uh, that's it.